Minecraft 1.21 just released, and I think it's one of the best updates we've seen in a while. I've noticed that the Minecraft community as a whole seems to be a lot happier with how the update turned out. This poll I made seems to think so. But as much as I am excited about the new content in this update, I'm also very excited for the things this update brings for the future. See, there are two things the Tricky Trials update adds that I think could be revolutionary for the coming updates for Minecraft. The Vault and the Ominous Bottle could really help structures, especially the older ones that desperately need an update. Today, I'm going to talk about how these new items can bring improvements to the game, and give some examples I've thought of of how they could work. But first, if you enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and you guys could help me reach this incredible milestone. But with the formalities out of the way, let's talk about the Vault and Bad Omen. So let's start by establishing what these two items are. In the Trial Chamber, you're going to find three new blocks relating to the new Vault mechanic. Trial Spawners, the Vault, and the Ominous Vault. When you approach trial spawners, they will spawn mobs, and defeating them will give you an item. One of them can be the trial key, which you can use to open vaults. The vault can be opened once by each player, and offers some decent loot that gets even better in the ominous vault, which has different, harder keys to get. The other item, the ominous bottle, has some relations with the vault. It's a replacement for pillagers for getting the bad omen effect. When you drink the bottle near trial spawners, it turns them into ominous spawners, which will drop ominous keys, which will open ominous vaults very ominous. The effect still starts raids, you just now have to drink the bottle while in a village. Both the ominous spawner and the raid are part of a new mechanic called ominous events. These two mechanics may seem simple, but they could have a big impact on structures in the future. I don't know about you guys, but I really want a structure update, and I think these items are the key to updating structures quickly without having to completely rework them. The vault can help by adding new ways to get keys and new exclusive loot, and the ominous bottle can add new ominous events that make surviving the structures harder. I've thought of some examples of how these items could be used that I think are pretty cool. For the vault, one of the most obvious uses is the elytra. I've seen a lot of people recommend this. One major problem on multiplayer servers is the rarity of the elytra. If you join a new server, it can be hard to find an elytra because you would have to travel very far out into the end to find an unrated end ship. The vault would mostly solve this problem. Every person could open the same vault and get an elytra just as quickly as everyone else, but something I haven't seen people talking about is how to get the key for this vault. My personal idea is to have a new block at the top of end cities that acts like a trial spawner. It could have some sort of challenge that if you beat, it would dispense a key. Maybe instead of being a combat challenge, it could be some sort of puzzle, or involve trading another valuable item for the key. It would also give people more of a reason to raid end cities and make the elytra a little harder to get. Another structure I think could use a vault is the Nether Fortress. Nether Fortress loot is, let's just say, lacking. It's not bad, but let's be honest, the whole reason you're going to the Nether Fortress is to get blaze rods or wither skulls. If there was a vault with some decent loot, it might make me more willing to look for nether fortresses for reasons other than going to the end or fighting the wither. But how would you get the key for this one? Mojang already has me covered. This would be the perfect time to add the wildfire from the first mob vote. It would spawn from spawner similarly to the trial spawner, but instead of making waves of mobs, it would spawn one wildfire as a miniboss of sorts. Beating it would award you with a chance to get another key to unlock fortress vaults. Dungeons would also be a great place to add vaults. They could function kind of like a single trial chamber room. This idea would need a bit more work, but the vault could help make this a lot more interesting. They could potentially have different variants for different mobs that give different loot. Spider dungeons could have a unique key for spider vaults, and the loot could involve spider-related things like string, cobwebs, or potions of poison. The same would be true for other mobs, with skeleton vaults having bow enchantments and zombie vaults having iron or armor enchantments. Vaults wouldn't have to all look the same, they could all have unique textures and animations for opening. One way they could use this is in the ancient city. In some concept art, we see these stone chests that a lot of people, including me, are pretty disappointed we didn't get. But if they introduced a vault to the structure, it could look like this stone chest and make a loud sound when opened, potentially summoning a warden. I'm assuming they're planning to update the ancient city in the future to finally open the portal in the center, so the new vault could hold the key to opening the portal, literally or figuratively. I don't have a great idea of how to get these keys, but a new segment covered in Skulk Shriekers might be a good challenge. Similar to the Nether Fortress, the Stronghold is a structure with one purpose and mediocre loot. Giving these empty hallways a vault system could be really cool. The Stronghold Library could be turned into more of a maze in which you would need to find keys to vaults scattered around the rest of the structure. And as a final thing, as they update these structures with vaults, they need to add some new loot to give an incentive to go there. 
some obvious ideas are new armor trims, banner patterns, and music discs. Some structures already have these, but they could be given new ones, or in the case of music discs, some of the older ones could be assigned to structures. Those are all of my ideas of ways they could use the vault. I should mention that I would be really interested to hear some of your guys' ideas, so if you have any, tell me in the comments. But the vault is, in my opinion, a lot less interesting than what the Bad Omen rework could do. So let's talk about that. With the ability to take existing structures and make them a harder challenge, I think Mojang could do a lot. The first idea I had was for the Desert Temple. When you would drink an ominous bottle inside, it would summon a new mob. I think the Necromancer from Minecraft Dungeons is a perfect fit, and it would be a pretty difficult challenge, especially within a small confined space. It would drop a powerful new item to make the challenge worth it. But, speaking of the Necromancer, a lot of the mobs from other Minecraft spin-offs would work perfectly as ominous events. The Vyther Witch from Earth would be a perfect fit for Witch Huts, Drowned Necromancers would fit really well with Shipwrecks, the Illusioner would go to Outposts or Mansions, and the Ender Scent could be a guard for the End Portal. But, if all the ominous bottle did was summon in new mobs, it would get boring quickly. So let's move on to some more unique ideas. The Ocean Monument is the most disappointing structure in Minecraft in my opinion. It has two really cool exclusive mobs and an awesome design, but the reward for looting it is a little gold and some sponge. So let's fix that. If you have Bad Omen, all Elder Guardians become more powerful and the Mining Fatigue effect is transformed into something else. It would have more detrimental effects like blindness to get lost easier in the monument, less movement speed in the water, and water breathing immunity. It could be renamed to Ominous Fatigue. Guardians could be buffed with more health or damage, and the Elder Guardians could be given new attacks. They would drop new powerful items, and killing them would end the event. In the abandoned village, Bad Omen could, instead of summoning a raid, summon a zombie horde, with new, more powerful zombie variants that come out in waves, like the raid. This would be the perfect chance to use the zombie horse, or they could create new zombie mini-bosses. You would gain a new effect after beating it that would give you better drops from undead mobs, kind of like the luck effect. My favorite idea I had is in the Woodland Mansion. A thunderstorm would automatically start when entering the mansion with Bad Omen to set the mood. This would function as a way to start thunderstorms whenever you wanted. Vexes would begin spawning naturally, Vindicators could be invisible, and maybe the Illusioner could spawn with a new drop. It would be some sort of new totem which would be a really good reason to take on the challenge. My final structure idea is in the Bastion. Bad Omen would cause a piglin hunt to start. All piglins within a certain area would be alerted to your location and be automatically willing to attack. But hidden inside of the Bastion would be a new reward, so you would have to break into the Bastion and fight through tons of angry piglins. Bad Omen doesn't just have to affect structures. Making boss fights harder would be an interesting way to use the effect. The Ender Dragon needs a rework, and an ominous event could help with that. When you respawn the Ender Dragon, it could be given a major buff, specifically targeting you instead of just flying around and given new attacks. The reward could be an actual drop, because just getting XP from the final boss of the game is honestly really boring. The Wither would act kind of similarly. In a recent short, I mentioned how the Java and Bedrock Wither are very different. The Bedrock Wither can have up to double the health of the Java version, and has some crazy strong attacks. I think this could be a good way to bring some parity. On both versions, summoning the Wither creates a slightly tweaked Java Wither, but summoning it with Bad Omen turns it into a slightly tweaked Bedrock Wither. It could have some new powers, too. The Wither effect could deal more damage, each head could have different attacks, or there could be more detriments to the Wither effect, like making the damage unhealable until the effect is gone, or a weakness effect. The reward could be a Super Nether Star that makes a Super Beacon, which you can have more effects applied to. Finally, this would be a great way to add new bosses. You could find a shrine-like structure somewhere in the world, and having Bad Omen and going near it could summon a new boss. That might make it a bit too random for Minecraft, so maybe Bad Omen would just have to be a part of the process of summoning it. Those are all of my Bad Omen ideas, but I have some final notes for both The Vault and Bad Omen. I think that Mojang's plan for the 1.21 update was to introduce a lot of new ways to improve updates, like they mentioned at Minecraft Live last year. I hope they can utilize both of these items to their full potential, and continue to introduce them in structures they add in the future. Let's hope the next few updates are just as good as this one. So, those are all of my ideas on how Bad Omen and the Vault could be used. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Also let me know what video you would like to see next. I have a bunch of good ones planned, but more ideas are always welcome. But anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.